Well, uh, no, then uh, on the contrary, I was the one that wanted to go see uh, Rabbi Kahana because I'd read one of his books and uh, found out that I agreed with what uh, the rabbi had to say. And if and if the man is a radical, then I certainly am. And uh, but I was a little concerned about all of the uh, all of the things that I've seen on American, primarily on American television, that is the biggest hatchet job that's ever been done on a man, and I would say to the American press that they have absolutely nothing to be proud of in their portrayal of Rabbi Kahane. I'm a Texas land man, and, and we had been there shooting a documentary on uh, a Texas land man looks at the land. I wanted to meet Rabbi Kahane, and, and, uh, but I was a little bit concerned that if even 10% of these portrayals that I had seen were true, that I might make the wrong move and one of his bodyguards might knock me down or something. So uh, I started to say it. Now, look, I, I started to preface all that I said by saying, uh, Rabbi, if, I'm, if I say something wrong, remember, I'm going and just give me uh, a little attitude there. But we spent the day with, with Rabbi, and I was... Uh, immediately impressed of what a real gentleman he is. His critics, for the most part, have never read a book, never heard a speech, will not meet him on the debate platform at all. They will not debate the issues for him, with him. And uh, and I think it's a shame that, that his, he does not have, has not had a, a forum or a, a decent treatment by the press in the United States. I found him to be, uh, let me ask, how many people here love Israel, the state of Israel? Give me a, you're going to love our speaker then, because this man believes in the state of Israel, that it's a Jewish state. It's that God, God is the landlord, Israel is the tenant forever. And it's exclusively, uh, they have that exclusive lease. So, you know, if that's, uh, if that's being radical, I suppose uh, we have a lot of radicals here. But we went to a, uh, one of the places that we went with the rabbi was to Kiryat Arba, where he's doing a wonderful work without fanfare, without government assistance. And it's to help women and children who have gone astray, who have gotten off into... Uh, marriages or relationships with with arabs that and that that have because of their their inner self have have called out for help and rabbi kahani is, and his group have been the ones that have provided that help for him and it's a it's a beautiful work and when he walks in and the little kids jump up and hug him around the neck you know you can't fake that you can't you can't kid uh kid a kid is they as they say. And then we went back and visited his headquarters, and uh, I found him to be a man of conviction, a man that believes intensely in, in the state of Israel, a man that's trying to put Israel back on the track. Uh, if you want to solve the Intifada problem, this is the guy to put in charge. He'll solve the problem. Uh, <clears throat> He's a, a man of his, he's a gentleman, but he's certainly no wimp. Um, and, you know, I just counted a, pr a privilege to have gotten to know him and to, uh, I follow his, some of his writings, read his books and things of that nature. So, uh, as far as I'm concerned, it's a real honor and privilege to have him here tonight. Thank you. seven laws that apply to all mankind. One of those laws was against murder. Now the rabbis tell us there's more ways than one to commit murder. 
If you speak evil of a man and your report is believed, you have murdered him. You have murdered his name. And to this, the rabbis say, carries the penalty worthy of death. And it doesn't say they shall be put to death, but a penalty worthy of death. If that Noahite law was fulfilled today, there'd be a lot of people worthy of death concerning Rabbi Meir Kana. To fulfill a mitzvah is not just not to do it, it's to do the opposite to it. For example, don't steal against theft is not fulfilled until you give charity, the opposite of theft. Not to murder is more than just not to kill someone, it's to save a life. And it behooves us tonight to give honor to him who has been so dishonored, a real friend of Israel and B'nai Noah, Rabbi Meir Kahana. My witnesses, saith the Lord, and my servants whom I have chosen, that you may know me and believe me, and understand that I am he. Before me there was no God formed, neither shall there be after me. I, even I am the Lord, and beside me there is no deliverer. I have declared, and I have saved, and I have shown. And there is no strange God among you. Therefore you are my witnesses, saith the Lord, that I am God. More than any people on this earth, you people who are sitting here are the witnesses of the Lord. For you people are those for whom the world was created. The people to witness that there is one 